Apple Doctor Germany, my name is Ben. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. Um, yeah, today I have uh, nothing special for you because the last video I did was really fucked up and it was special. So tomorrow you get a special video, I, I swear. And um, yeah, I just have to, to do the next what is on my table and it's just a shorted iPhone 7 board, I think, because the customer says um, it just don't boot and doesn't do anything. I, he only sent the board. I didn't check what the problem is, but I will now do. So let's see and check what we have here. Oh, it's not a full short. Could be interesting. We are at about 200 milliamps. So let's check how fast we can solve that. Okay, I just take out or, or peel off the stickers and then we will have a look where the problem is. So we saved the complete time for dismounting the device in this video. I hope you like it anyway. Just take out the sticker now. Activate the enhanced camera. And then we just have a look. But I need my phone. Where is my phone? Here is my phone. And now we just have a look where the short is. What is heating up here? What is heating up? And I thought like that could be backlight and it is. So you see it here. It's wonderful. See that on the point. A nice shot on the backlight circuit of an iPhone 7. So let's solve that problem together. So we have a small video today and I will give you a bigger one tomorrow uh, here. Here we see it. Here we can see it really good. Just take a photo of that for the documentation. And then we can just have a look on ZXW which cap it is, which value the cap has. Waiting a short time. And then 2.235 volts. 2.2 microfarad. So let's get it out. And get a new one in. Just another video how to replace a cap on an iPhone. Von uns? Huh? Und was jetzt? So, just cleaning the underfill between the caps and then just knock the, ca the cap off. It's always the best you can do, knock it off and then clean the surface. After that, just taking some flux. to give more power on the JBC. Best batteries I ever seen were Obsecure. 
Obsecure doesn't sell any things and, call, uh, and calls them pulled. Okay, just clean here. And n never buy any pulled batteries because it's just just uh, fuck, fucking up the customers. Selling pulled batteries is just fucking up customers. Clean up, clean up. Yeah. Getting up the clue here. Clean, clean, clean. I do it really slow so we have some, some time in the video together. Not only about five minutes and done. And then we just need this beautiful capacitor. 2.235 volts, 2.2 microfarad, 35 volts, 0402 and here we got it. So we need a little bit of flux here and then we can... Yes? Why? Uh, your mom told me always taking more time <laughs> as you need So now getting in this big cap, and his mom likes big things, really. Okay, get it in. Done. And just cleaning. So, and you see, the only thing you need to diagnose things like that is uh, DC power supply and a really good thermal imager. So you can s solve things like this in a really fast way. You don't need to search a long time um, and you get no problems at all. So now let's take a test screen and just see if this phone works again. Or if this board works again because the phone isn't here. It's just the board. And wait, wait, wait. Boom! Back to life again. Within 8 minutes and 8 seconds. That's nice, really. So, just a basic repair. Tomorrow I come a little bit earlier in the company and I will give you an advanced video. Perhaps I show you a flex cable swap for an iPad Pro 9.7. I ordered another button. I will cut the flex because um, the other button is ripped in, in an edge and I have to, to set about 14 jumpers and then it will work fine again. You see, this phone works really fine again. Um, fast job, I hope you like the video anyway. Uh, anyway, it's just a basic thing. Um, we get only the board mailed in. Um, I will clean it, um, renew the EMI stickers on the back side and then get it back to the customer. If you want to learn things like that, fast and easy, you can do that at the, at the Bottle Lab Repair School Germany. And if you are working at the repair industry for smartphones and tablets, just join our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. Um, what what should, could I show you? Um, should I show you something here? Oh, perhaps we can do a fast... Uh, CPU cleaning or things like that. Why not? So, because the, the video is really short, we could lift up a CPU and just clean it in a fast way or not. Why not? What would you say? Oh, perhaps we have one here. No. Not here. What's that? It's a base band. Wait, wait a second. Perhaps I have something for you. Yes, I got. Here. 
we do two in one how to clean a11 cpu just within a minute and without losing pads so do we have all the pads here on this cpu yeah they are all here so okay i give you on hands well not on hands i give you I give you straight to the microscope cam because this was really really basic and just doing another thing in this video okay where well, I have this budget to get my my paste ready I take this it's okay too Okay. And now just doing a fast cleaning without losing any pads and without using wick. Two in one. How to solve a shorted backlight circuit on iPhone 7 and how to clean an A11 CPU just within a minute without using wick. Okay, now just use the brush. And the last time some flux. So did you saw that and now just taking taking this and you got the cleanest CPU you have ever seen just within one minute. Boom! Back to life again. I hope you like it. I'm out. We see us with the next video. You spend bam bam back to life again. Boom!